Yeah, I guess it's trying to like talk about kids and how they interact with their environment. And yeah. Just this was just yeah. I just wanted to do it with some kids climbing triangles, so it's sort of juxtap- juxtaposition of like of um, colour and the environment of that we live in as well is very coastal. So it's like they're climbing on the coastal rocks. And it, and it matches with that one because that one is, it talks about the environment as well as the fishing. And it's just fun. Like, so the whole theme will be all about like kids having fun, kids in their environment. And then hopefully it'll speak to the kids around here, you know? Yeah. Which would be cool because, you know, the future is the kids. So I've just uh, put the finishing touches on my work for the Vic. Um, the abstraction that we've got here is actually the language of nautical flags. So I've gone to the nautical alphabet and here we have VIC, a composition for the Vic. So for this work um, we were really um, lucky to be sponsored by Rosine. Um, so I've gone for um, a mixed palette of metallic gloss and matte paints. So we've got a really beautiful glossy guardsman red. Um, and this is one of these two are one of the Karen Walker range of resin paints. Um, so it's a really kind of creamy quarter crisp apple green and a and a, and a light ducky blue, which I find is really great to use against brights. Um, then we have a really kind of metallic almost kind of solar system earthy like dot right in the middle um, from their metallic range um, as well as a really neat Indian ink blue and a foggy grey also from the Karen Walker paints range from Rosine kind of reference Devonport's naval history in the work um, and also I really love the symmetry of the outside of the Vic, the architecture um, so that's sort of influenced in the painting as well using that using a really sort of pastely undertone um, with the really poppy brights. When I was told I was going to be painting on an old French bakery, I thought, you know, like maybe an old, an old French proverb about bread or something. So, okay. You know, and then um, so I came up with this one: the, the bread and the wine start a banquet. Which uh, I like it. So I like my bread and I like my wine. And uh, nice. I figured they might like it too. And then, yeah, I just came out to check the wall out, like. Um, have a look at the space and then I saw their signage on the front and it all Art Nouveau style so I um, went with that because my, in my head I was planning on doing some old old looking signage anyway yeah so I went with the Art Nouveau style which I've always been a fan of but have never replicated because I haven't had the opportunity always been more into the traditional style of letter and just, you know, more readable sort of stuff. So my graffiti was, or well, a lot of it was quite readable parts of it. I, I, I like, I like a, you know, the rules with letters. Yeah. And how letters look uh, and creating them and then, but I like the whole, I don't know, creating a nice, sharp, clean line for yeah. me is, is the best feeling, <laughs> you know, like trying to do it the best that I can. In my head, the best that I know how, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This nice line. And, and yeah, so something like this is really fun. Cool. Yeah. Uh, the painting's called Anechoic Inside Outside Painting. So it's referencing the optical illusion with the positive, positive and negative inside outside, um, highly repetitive composition. Um, I've used uh, metallic basalt pigments and silver aluminium pigments 
and waterborne enamels and black waterborne enamels all gloss so there's a mix of metallic pigments um, that reflect the light and catch the light in the afternoon the sun comes in and hits this wall and it really pops optically which I really love so I've kind of used those resin pigments which are beautiful and I've used resin pigments a lot over the years um, on purpose so it catches the light and it kind of pops between that sort of matte reflective gloss matte um, metallic kind of sheen which I really like so it sort of shimmers and pops in the morning it's very different with the morning light as opposed to the afternoon light and, and the splash of red at the end, end this really beautiful red cadmium resin um, it's like a pahuta caramel red it's called high gloss waterborne enamel really beautiful red it's hard to get a good red pigment but love that resin pigment and I just think that really sort of it's almost like a full stop at the end of the composition.